for the basic connections of 22 ohm and our mobile tester we'll turn it back the 22 ohm and mobile tester has an rf n type port supports rs232 supports tcp ip this is for the power supply we can use the power supply directly or we have a battery connection for to start with the connections we can plug in the power supply for this we can connect the n type connector this n type connector is connected to the rf of the ue this is connected to the ue the orange light says that this is connected to the power supply we can power on the hardware now the cobum 22 over our mobile tester the loading and the progress bar shows that the firmware on this hardware is being loaded after loading you can see the serial number of the hardware the firmware version the ip address and the last calibration date on the gui you can see three options config gsm and auto test to reach the config menu press the soft key you arrive at the configuration tab here you can see the current firmware version the configuration tab is divided into four main tabs the ethernet settings the serial settings common settings and the coupling type in the ethernet settings you can see the ip address subnet mask gateway port and terminator in the serial settings terminators for rs232 and usb can be set in the common settings the user can select different language from a set of drop down box it supports german french italian spanish and chinese select and press the check button in the coupling type coupler option is only cable in this configuration tab we have four options options service file manager and factory settings in options press the soft key here this shows all the license options available on the 22 over r currently on this hardware we have gsm option acpm gprs edge auto test and gsmr to enter any new option press the option key enter the option key and press on the check box in the service button press the service soft key you enter into the service tab service tab consists of service information details about the processor board signaling board battery information in the firmware update option you can see options to update your firmware firmware can be updated from usb or ftp 
for USB, the firmware can be loaded onto a USB drive and placed in this USB port. After selecting, check the software update button. Changing this to FTP. Enter the IP address and the credentials for the FTP server. Once done, press on software update button. The stored firmware versions. These, these options show the firmwares currently present on the hardware. So this has three firmwares, 1.1.10, 1.10 and the current active version. I can change between these versions. Select and press change to version button. Change to version, are you sure? Yes or no. If you want to delete a version, select a version and press delete version button. Deletion of firmware, are you sure? Yes or no? File manager allows you to select between different files, transfer files from USB onto the box. Factory settings. Factory settings allows the user to set the default settings.